field agronomist here. Uh, unfortunately, we're standing in a field of hail and corn. Uh, hail came through on Memorial Day 2018. We're here two days later on May 30th and uh, doing a little evaluation on this corn. The first step when looking at uh, hail damage on corn uh, is to determine the growth stage, which can be kind of tricky to do. So again, it's pretty hard to tell what growth stage it is sometimes with all the different broken leaf matter, but you always look for that first leaf uh, with the little round uh, end on there. So that's one, two, three, fourth leaf's broken off here, but here's the fifth collar, and then the sixth leaf doesn't have a collar. So this is V5 corn. Uh, looking at the corn, uh, you can of course see a lot of leaf damage here. A lot of leaves are shredded. Uh, some of the veins and midribs are broken. Um, pretty severe uh, damage here, pretty severe defoliation. Um, so you see some bruising uh, where some hailstones hit here, um, but we'll split this plant and uh, check the growing point. So we've got the plant cut in half here, and if you uh, zoom in, you can see uh, the little growing point down there is right at the, right at the peak uh, of all those little nodes and, and, the, and the little plant in there. Sometimes you get lucky and you can even see a little miniature tassel. Um, but so the growing point is right down there, which uh, judging by the color change here, that growing point was right at the soil surface um, or just above. And so sometimes if you're really unlucky, I mean the hail can uh, come down at that soil level. In this case, it wasn't quite that bad. Um, a lot of our damage was up higher, um, up above the growing point. So up here, it's all, it's all leaves. These are all the future leaves of the plant. Uh, there's really no stock here to be damaged yet. You know, the stock is technically clear down here. So from that aspect, I'm not too worried. And then I always like to just peel some of these back. So we got a big uh, hailstone impact here, uh, but you peel it back and that next leaf underneath it is actually okay. So um, really shouldn't be too big of a deal as far as bruising and deep uh, damage to the leaves coming. So based on all this, um, I would expect this corn to uh, to recover very well. Uh, I think if you give it a week or two, this corn is going to look much, much better. Um, the other thing, uh, as part of that, of course, you can consult the Pioneer Hail Decision Guide. We've got some charts in there. Um, you know, it, it, the chart actually starts at V7 corn, and this is only V5. So even if you have 100% defoliation uh, and V7 corn, you're looking at only about a 9% yield loss um, off your potential. Now, the hard part is, some of these are broken off pretty low and so you've got it like a plant here is broken off uh, quite a ways now again the growing point is going to be way down here so these are all leaves this plant should be alive and should come back quickly uh, but sometimes what can happen uh, like this plant a couple over here you've got one broken off uh, he's going to be stuck it'll probably fight to push through that eventually it might break its own leaves um, and come out uh, but you got two big plants on either side and this one was likely going to be a runt um, it will it's technically alive will produce a pretty decent ear uh, contribute to yield but but uh, but not a full-size ear i'd expect both of these plants to recover very well and have almost a full-size ear on them so the next thing i like to do um, you know with that is a stand count and so you measure off your 17 feet 5 inches and, and do a stand count and uh, we did a few of those uh, counting the broken off plants you know we had 33,000 plants that are alive um, but skipping those broken off plants a lot of them were uh, closer to 23,000 uh, big tall plants with just leaf damage um, so there is probably going to be a little bit of a yield impact not technically stand loss uh, but a lot of those are not going to be full size here so uh, from there, we like to consult uh, that hail decision guide again. Um, you know, if you're looking at a stand reduction from uh, 30,000 down to like that 23,000, I think it was uh, six to seven percent uh, yield loss on that. So additively, uh, you know, this could this could add up to uh, to some yield loss, but but maybe not the the terrible disaster that it first appears uh, when you walk into these fields after hail. So. Um, as always, uh, it, it's good to give it a little time. Uh, it'll keep looking better and uh, be sure to reach out to uh, your local pioneer reps and, and agronomists as well to help you with your evaluation. One other thing I wanted to mention is that if you've never done it before, uh, it's great to come back to the same spot, the same plants even, uh, and watch as they recover. So um, 
the absolute, the best way to do that uh, is with the time-lapse camera like this. Um, it'd be really cool to see how these plants come back um, and what those ears end up turning into at the end of the year also. But if you don't have one of these fancy time-lapse cameras, uh, just grab a garden stake and do it poor man style. Uh, throw a stake in the ground and come back to this plant every week and take some pictures and see how it recovers and, and see what that ear turns into. And that's one of the best ways to, to learn and get experience on, on what to predict in, in another hail event like this. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.